So the one thing about flat roofs is flat roofs are never really flat and there's a number of different ways we can slope it. Uh, I'm going to go to edit type here in the roof and what I will do right now is I'm going to actually split this structural layer into two and we'll call um, say four inches as the metal decking um, and then we'll call it three and a half inches metal decking I'm just going to make this a little more real and then we'll call this substrate we'll call it substrate we'll call it maybe um, half inch half inch substrate and then we're going to call this thermal insulation and then we're going to also add Membrane. We're just going to add a membrane there. That's thermal air. So we're going to call this um, 8 inches. Again, these layers don't necessarily matter. And I'm, I would normally assign materials, but just for speed, I'm just not going to do that. And then for the thermal and air, we're just going to make this variable. And it's just as easy as creating a... There's a few different ways we can do this. I'm going to... You can first click a point... Um, at a point in the middle and then we can click that point and make it negative four inches and this will slope the whole roof to the center um, the other way we could do it um, I'm just going to reset the shape we can add a line down the center And then we could drop that line by, um, and we can actually we can actually add a point in the middle there too. So by doing that, I'll make this. Let's use the tab key here. Actually, let's add a point here. Make that negative four inches and make that negative four inches. And so that way we can actually put a little um, little scupper um, through there. And I'd recommend downloading something from Revit City and then we can um, have the water going to the outside. Or if you want to do a center drain, then you can drain it internally. So there's a couple ways to do a sloped roof.